much time we lose engaging in the wrong things, that there's a such thing as called the windows of opportunity that close. That's why people ask me, man, why you write so many books? Why are you doing what you're supposed to do? Because I'm like, I don't know how much time is left. For all I know, I can die tomorrow. You know, my bad, I ain't gonna die tomorrow. But what I'm saying is, for all I know, I could leave here. Death and God's judgment are two of the greatest motivators on the planet. The Bible says it's appointed for every man to die and after that, the judgment. If I understand that principle, then I will say, you know what, since death is, is, a poss- is, a, is a reality, and meeting God is a reality, then I better make sure I walk by faith in him today. Do you know you're a pilgrim passing through? That this is not your real home? Like, I hope your mind got blown on that. Like, like real talk, like, this ain't home. We're only guaranteed to be here a certain amount of time. Do you know how vast eternity is? That the Bible says your life is nothing but a vapor? No matter how great the person you you look up to of all history, Jesus' life was a vapor, his physical one, 33 years. God, I hope I see 70, 80 the way the world is, but I can't live as if tomorrow's promise, I gotta live with the promise that I have today. Many people are living as if tomorrow's promise. That's why they're lazy today. That's why they're not walking by faith today. That's the reason why they're not talking with God today, because they feel like they always got tomorrow. People are getting shot in the streets. People are getting murdered. People are getting killed. Bombs and wars and rumors of wars are about to happen. Tomorrow's not promised. But when you live with the promise of today, with a God that's very present today, God, I don't care what I see. Because, God, I know for a fact that me being connected to you is all I need right now. If you was in war without an earpiece, you're probably in trouble. If you're in war and you're not connected to the home base, you may fall into a trap. How many of us say, God, I'll get to you next time, and we continue to walk in this life like we don't need him? You know how I can, you know know what's the proof? that we don't need him, calculate the time you spend with him versus what we spend with other things and other people. God is not even in our top 10, probably not even our top 25. God's not even number one seed in our brackets. He's number 16, he's Ohio Community College State to us. (laughs) He ain't no Duke and Carolina to us. He's some school that we don't know about. That's That's who God is to us. And then we get mad when God keep upsetting the number one seeds of our lives. He keeps upsetting them. Because he's like, you put me down here, but I'm supposed to be up there. And we got to get to a place where we say, God, I'm going to be connected to you because, God, I need my faith to be strengthened. I need my whole life to be supported by you. I'm getting ahead of myself, but let's keep going. Prayer and desire.